Hare Krishna. Okay, so I'm creating this YouTube live to share. How do I need this? Oh, yeah. So I'm making this live to share um, something that I do to increase my hearing of Srila Prabhupada's books every day, which is called Reading Groups. How it works, um, I'm going to show you. Um, you have your book or your Kindle, and then you have your phone. And you use an app like Signal or WhatsApp, get a couple of people into a group or even one person. And you read, using the voice record feature, you read a verse and purport or however much you want to read. I recommend just reading a verse a day each. And you record that loudly into the microphone clearly and then send it and then share a one minute reflection using the same voice record feature. So I'm going to demonstrate. I've just listened to my friend, my friend from high school, actually. Um, he and I are in a reading group together on signal reading Bhagavad Gita. So we read it. Um, we're, we're in the introduction right now. So we're just reading a paragraph each and then sharing a reflection. Okay, so this is called karma. We were up to here. Mario, we suffer the results. This is called karma. Yeah. Okay, great. So I've pressed record. No. I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna press record and I'm gonna read it and then I'm gonna send it. Ishvara, the Supreme Lord, Jiva, the living entity, Prakriti, nature, eternal time and karma activity are all explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Out of these five, the Lord, the living entities, material nature, and time are eternal. The manifestation of Prakriti may be temporary, but it is not false. Some philosophers say that the manifestation of material nature is false, but according to the philosophy of Bhagavad Gita or according to the philosophy of the Vaishnavas, this is not so. The manifestation of the world is not accepted as false. It is, it is accepted as real. But it is temporary. It is likened unto a cloud which moves across the sky or the coming of the rainy season which nourishes grains. As soon as the rainy season is over and as soon as the cloud goes away, all the crops which were nourished by the rain dry up. Similarly, this material manifestation takes place at a certain interval, stays for a while, and then disappears. Such are the workings of Prakriti. But this cycle is working eternally. Therefore, Prakriti is eternal. It is not false. The Lord refers to this as my Prakriti. This material nature is the separated energy of the Supreme Lord. And similarly, the living entity are also the energy of the Supreme Lord, but they are not separated. They are eternally related. So the Lord, the living entity, material nature, and time are all interrelated and are all eternal. However, the other item, karma, is not eternal. The effects of karma may be very old indeed. We are suffering or enjoying the results of our activities from time immemorial, but we can change the results of our karma or our activity. And this change depends on the perfection of our knowledge. We are engaged in various activities. Undoubtedly, we do not know what sort of activities we should adopt to gain relief from the actions and reactions of all these activities. But this is also explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Stand. Okay, now I'm going to share my reflection. Hit record. Hare Krishna. So what I'm taking from this is that Karma is very difficult to understand. Uh, it's it's very old, but it's not eternal. Karma is not eternal. Um, we may be suffering the results of an activity we performed many uh, a long time ago, um, but ultimately, karma is temporary. Um, 
So in this paragraph, we're hearing about which parts, which topics of the Gita, um, or which things that the Gita talks about are, um, are eternal. So Bhagavad Gita talks about five things, time, karma, material nature, the living entity, and Krishna, or God. And of those five, some are eternal and some are temporary. Um, karma is temporary and material nature is temporary. Everything else is eternal. Time, Krishna, and the living entity. Um, yeah, we're eternal. That's a, that's a big deal. We're never going to die. All right, Hare Krishna. Okay, and that's how you read in a reading group. Now, my friend will um, read whenever works for him during the day today. Um, I'll listen to it tomorrow. And um, that's how we read. That's how I'm reading. That's how, how I'm going through the Bhagavad Gita, Shruma Bhagavatam, um, Spiritual Dialectics by Srila Prabhupada, and a book called... Nectar Devotion as well by Srila Prabhupada. So all of the books that I'm reading at the moment are by Srila Prabhupada. And um, that's how I read. Hope you enjoy this video. And maybe, yeah, maybe you can start your own reading group with a friend or bhaktas or, you know, new people. It's a great way to read. Um, Lord Shiva says that one can only understand Krishna consciousness or the Bhagavad Gita by... And reading it in the association of, or with the guidance of a devotee of Lord Krishna. So the best way to have your friends read the Bhagavad Gita and understand it is by reading it with them. David Rita Swami talks about, you know, my, my guru talks about um, helping people turn the pages. That's what called it, how to cultivate someone in Krishna consciousness. Uh, you help them turn the pages of Bhagavad Gita. And this is a great way to do that. Okay, Hare Krishna. <laughs> My friend just um, left a, a react on, um, on, on the recording of me reading with a mind blown.